So guys, we got a November 2016 edition of Motown Mile. I'm actually doing this video on time. It's December 1st. I should get this video uploaded, uploaded tonight or the next day. Usually I've been doing videos like in the middle of the month, but hey, had some time. Uh, why not do it? So this is my non-certified stuff, my TTMs um, and whatnot from the month of November. First off, uh, I picked up a bat signed by a mystery player. That was the auction. Mystery player bat. I got it for $20 shipped. That's with shipping and everything. So it cost probably about 10, 15 bucks to ship. So that mystery player that nobody knew who it was is Cubs outfielder Jason Hayward. So this came with a, it's one of the, um, one of the Just Miners autographs. I don't think you'll be able to make the hologram out. Just Miners, but they ended up losing the certificate of authenticity and therefore they had no idea who signed it. Luckily, I did, and it's Jason Hayward, and I got it for less than the cost. It would it would cost me more to buy an unsigned bat at Dick's Sporting Goods right now. So that was a good deal. I'm really happy with that. Um, next, I picked this up. I thought this was a hard cover. It is a not. It is a soft cover, but it's my own fault for not asking. Still got a good price on it. Um, book written by co-written by Cal Ripken Jr. The only way I know, signed on the cover by Cal Ripken Jr. So. I got that. Like I said, I thought that was a hard cover. It's not. It's soft cover, but still, for the price I got it at, very happy. So I got that. <clears throat> um, couple of balls. First, I got this at the Fanatic show. I went to the Fanatic show uh, in Chicago. What about a week ago? A week and a half ago or so. Um, it didn't. It was kind of a farce for me. I felt like crap. I'm still getting over a cold. Um, but uh, yeah, I didn't have that good of a time. But I did pick up this signed ball of future Hall of Famer, manager Hall of Famer, Bruce Bochy. Still unwrapping. So, Bruce Bochy. Got a pretty good price on that. So, happy with that. Next, one of the Cubs' top prospects, Eloy Jimenez. I sent this out for a consignment. I uh, guy had a pretty good price on consignment for the Arizona Fall League, and he was able to get this Eloy Jimenez ball done for me. Not much to his autograph. Pretty weak. But that's just how he signs. So Eloy Jimenez signed ball. Um, he never he came through the Midwest League, but he never came through Beloit. So never had the chance to get him. Speaking of him, got these from someone else, another uh, person at SportsCollectors.net, who I think also did the Fall League. Um, I just bought these straight up from him. I got four Eloy Jimenez autographs from Topps Pro Debut. There's one. There's two. Three. And four, so four Eloy Jimenez's. Uh, and then I also got this from him, Tyler O'Neill. Didn't have an autograph of Tyler O'Neill yet. And this guy's gonna be a stud, I think. Cody Bellinger, uh, first base prospect for the Dodgers. A lot of power. So I got those. Uh, let's do some TTM, should we? Shall we? Let's do some TTM action. Um, got this rookie card signed by. Jerry Sloan, Hall of Famer. Worst, ugliest looking sports card of all time, right there. The 7071 tops of Jerry Sloan. It's like they just kind of took some scissors and cut his head out of a picture and slapped it on there. It's like he's a mutant of some sort, but uh, that's a hideous card. But unfortunately, that is his rookie card. So, but he did sign it nicely. Uh, I got these. I got these two cards actually yesterday from former coach current analyst Jeff Van Gundy. I really like the card on the left there because it looks like a grade school basketball photo. It's like he doesn't want to be there and yeah I just love that picture. It's just hilarious. Jeff Van Gundy. My uh, most fond memories were him coaching the Knicks and he always had a can of Diet Coke uh, with him at all times. Um, next um, hockey superstar Eric Lindros signed these two cards and he signed his famous 1990 score tops traded baseball card. He never obviously made it to the major leagues, but he was a Blue Jays prospect uh, back in the early 90s. So three of three from Eric Lindros. So very happy with that. I actually sent that to his parents' house up in uh, Canada. Um, he's, a, he's a pretty good TTM uh, signer through that address. Um, just gotta make sure you have a Canadian postage to get it back to you. Uh, next, 3-3 from former Bear and Steelers quarterback Tom Mike Tomzak. Nice looking autograph there from Mike Tomzak. Uh, 
Basketball Hall of Famer Bob Pettit signed one of one. Real happy to get that back. Bob Pettit one of one. I uh, got Junior Bridgman um, on uh, four cards. Signed, I think this is not a rookie, but 77, 78 tops. And three more, including a upper deck retro on there on the right. <clears throat> Terry Kennedy signed four cards for me. Former All Star. There's two and two more. Don Mossy, him and his bushy eyebrows, signed a 56 tops. Got that at a card show for like a buck. And he signed these four for me as well. Don Mossy. Um, I got Brian Winters on three cards, actually four cards. One of them I already re out because it was a multi card. Three to three from, or four to four from Brian Winters. Women's Basketball Hall of Famer Carol Blaschowski. I think I botched that last name, but that's all right. I'm not too into women's basketball, but legend Carol Blaschowski. That'll work. Clark Kellogg. That's right, the analyst, but he also played basketball from the famed 86-87 Fleer set. That's his rookie card. Got that signed nice. He also included a signed note on my, my letter. That was nice. Um, Dennis Autry, I actually sent him all five of his cards, and I was kind of bummed about it. I signed him in pen. That's his rookie card. I love the hair. And these turned out like crap. I'm not going to show them real good. Those turned out kind of crappy. Um, Basketball Hall of Famer Cliff Hagen signed three of three. Got these two tops chromes and a uh, pen, uh, yeah, pen, no, Donruss Sports Legends card. Those turned out good. Um, Mike Cameron, always one of the best signers out there, signed four of four for me, including these two cards, which actually, that's Daz when he was a little kid. Daz is a Astros prospect now, and I should be seeing him next year. So I'm going to get the signed by Daz Cameron in person, hopefully, assuming I'll see him. So I got those two by his dad, Mike, and then these two Mike Camerons as well. Um, let's see here. I got 4-4 four, yeah, four, four from Mike Bibby. That was kind of a cool return. Signed an ugly black Sharpie. 4-4 four, four from Mike Bibby. Um, I got Chris Ford on 4 former Celtic. There's two. And two more. This is a pretty cool success. Three of three from Vince Young. He's uh, doing so he has some kind of uh, position at the University of Texas. That one turned out really good. Tops All-American cards. Signed that. And then he signed these two as well. He did return one of them on sign. I sent four cards. Uh, this is kind of a funny success. I got Sarah Palin on her presidential historic first card. I sent that to her Alaskan home. She's a weirdo. <laughs> I had a card, so why not? Um, I got 4-4 four, four from Kurt Simmons. This is my first ever 1952 Tops card I got signed. Got that real cheap at a card show. Got that. Got these two. And got a 56 Tops as well. Uh, Roy Seavers signed 4-4 four, four for me. Got a 55 Tops. My first ever 53 tops, original. 62, and a ah, 58 or 59. Uh, Lionel Holland signed 4 of 4 for me. Former NBA All Star, those two. And those two. NFL Hall of Famer Mick Tinglehoff signed 4 of 4 for me. Former Viking. Got Mr. Lynn Dickey, former Packers quarterback. There's his rookie card when he was at the Oilers. There's one. There is two. There's three. And there's four. So four four from Lynn Dickey. Got Bill Melton on four. Got a 70 tops. Got a 72 tops. 76 tops. And a 69 tops. I sent Bill Polian, the uh, Football Hall of Famer, a index card. He doesn't sign index cards, but he replaced it with this nice Panini Hall of Fame card that he supplied with a Hall of Fame inscription. So that's a nice return from Hall of Famer Bill Polian. Uh, I got 4-4 four four from Hockey Hall of Famer Al McGinnis. There's one. 
There's two and three and four. I got Whitey Herzog on this 59 Tops card with a $5 donation. I think I'm going to get his rookie card and send that off to him as well. And this is a really nice success. He's, he's been signing fairly frequently. Uh, I'm not sure if it stopped or not, but I sent Oscar Robertson a card, and he signed that one as well. That's my second return from him in the last few months. So Oscar Robertson with a big O success. Happy with that. So that's my TTM successes. Uh, next picked up this signed rookie card of Bears Hall of Famer, one of the most underrated Hall of Famers out there, Dan Hampton. I think he was the best defensive player on the, on the Bears. Not Mike Singletary or anybody else. Dan Hampton, in my opinion, was the most underrated. Um, I picked up this in a trade, a Yadier Alvarez. He's a top 100 prospect. Pick that up. I needed two guys from the Cubs World Series team. I need their autographs. And I you know, have the entire team. Those last two people were Pedro Strope and Hector Rondon, and I got them both. So I have all 25 of the Chicago Cubs 25-man uh, roster for the World Series. Done! So very happy with that. I was in a Hall of Fame draft. Um, my first round pick was an autograph of a person that passed away in the early 90s, Mel Hine. So that was a really nice. I was real happy that was available, I think, with my third pick, third overall pick. So that was real. I was real happy that was still there. Uh, Hall of Famer John Mackey, one of the best tight ends ever. Got Fergie Jenkins. That was my third round pick. Didn't really... Need another Fergie Jenkins autograph, but I was sitting there in the third round, so I picked it up. Uh, Bullet Bill Dudley. Didn't have a signed card of him yet. I had a postcard, so it's nice to get a card. Uh, didn't have an autograph yet of the Hockey Hall of Famer Marcel Dion. That. Uh, Football Hall of Famer Yale Larry. Uh, I'm sorry, this wasn't a Hall of Fame draft. Hall of Fame slash All-Pro slash All-Star slash whatever. Uh, former All-Pro John Offerdahl, linebacker for the Dolphins. Got Rick Upchurch with the Ring of Ring of Fire uh, 2014 inscription. Ray Donaldson. He was the first ever African American center in the NFL. Uh, Bill Guerin. Steve Garvey, 78 tops. And my last pick, an 85 Donners card of Bob Boone. So. Uh, next, I was in a scrub draft. You send in a bunch of garbage, and you get a bunch of garbage back. So I won't show everything here because a lot of it's garbage. I got Luis Valbuena. That was my first round pick. That tells you how much trash there was in this draft. But <laughs> Luis Valbuena was my first round pick. Uh, Shane Doan didn't have an autograph of uh, the longtime captain. Former Bears tight end Des Clark. This is him in his uh, Broncos uniform. Got Brian Clark. Remember him as a rebounding machine, I think. <laughs> Uh, Yuri Lettinen, hockey, Jesse Hahn, and let's see here, Ray Miller, yep, nothing else, nothing else of note. Next, I was in a top, and lastly, I was in a Topps Heritage Miners, oh, I'm sorry, it was just a regular, no, it was Topps Heritage Miners, Topps Heritage Miners draft, uh, my first round pick was George Springer, followed by Joey Gallo, kind of hard to see. See you there. Jeffrey Marte, third rounder. My fourth rounder is uh, Teoscar Hernandez. Saw him a bunch in Beloit, never got his autograph. I never thought he'd be anything, and he's a major league baseball player. I got J.D. Davis, Josh Hader, uh, Rangel Ravello, Scooter Jeanette, Travis Tejeron, they probably botched that, Luke Jackson, Mike Freeman, uh, Michael Clayto, Preston Tucker, we got a pair of Domingo Santanas, I'm a fan of him now because of how nice he treated everybody on his rehab stint, so I'm always rooting for him now, Stetson Ali, Adam Kolarik, Jesse Biddle, Todd Glassman, and Nick Torres, Nick Torres is not my last round pick, I'm not sure why, I thought I had those in order, but I didn't. That was a mid-round pick. So that's it. That's a lot of crap to go through. i got a whole pile of crap here to put away. Um, so that's it. That's all I got for now. I will do another video, obviously, with my certified pickups with Minimo. Not a whole lot of certified stuff. So this video is a lot longer than that video will be. Um, so that is it. I want to thank everybody for watching. And as always, please stay safe.